Hey guys, this is Chase. I'm that guy with the gloves. Blissful gloves, if you know what I mean. And what are we doing today? Well, it's been a couple years since I made the first uh, belt collection video, and I figured it was time to get cracking on a new one. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Chase, is this really all the belts you have? I mean, it's quite impressive, but I know there were more in the last video. And no, this is not all of them. This is just a fun little backdrop I decided to make because, well, basically these are all the duplicates that I have. Where are all of the other belts? Well, I keep them in a very special box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh God, oh, God. Oh, yes. Oh, we're gonna snap into these. Oh yeah. So here we have a large portion of my collection. Like I said, the ones in the backdrop are pretty much all duplicates. And instead of just going through and showing every single belt that I have, like I did in the last one that took forever, why not just highlight each one and their variants, you know, cause sometimes there's a little bit of a difference in the way the belts are designed or the plates or the straps or something like that. These are the WWF classic World Tag Team Championships. I know, it's WWE, but I grew up with the WWF, and in the late 80s, early 90s, these were the belts to have. They were so cool looking. I actually think these, yeah, these were my favorite belts in all of wrestling at the time. I just love the way they look. Now, the normal version of these title belts, I have to go through here and find one because I do not plan for such things. So here is what the belt normally looks like. It's just all gold. This is basically what the title became uh, in the early 90s. They ditched the silver plates and looking back on it, I really do enjoy the version of the silver plates. They just stood out a little bit more to me. But again, I love these, I love these titles. They look so freaking awesome. And I have, I don't know how many of these, I think I have five or six of these classic tag titles. Awesome belts. In fact, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take this other set, because I already have two back there. I wanted to take this other set and make a, uh, a version of these from the Attitude Era. Now these ones had like a red strap to the back of them. And I always thought that was such a cool and unique design or just a unique decision to do that, you know, representing the WWE attitude by, you know, throwing on some red paint or a red leather strap. It was pretty cool. So just take some paint, paint the back of the strap, and there you go, not much else to it. Up next is one of the longest reigning championship titles. It was around for a, <laughs> a good deal longer than it probably should have been. It is the WWE Championship Spinner Belt Edition. It's an awesome belt. I didn't appreciate it enough after it was gone. For some reason, I just have a real nostalgic love for this title. Only downside is that the center plate does not spin. That is unfortunate. And it's missing a couple little detailings, details, detailings, what am I saying? It's missing a couple details on the side plates. There's just some color that could be thrown in there, which I will show off on another custom that I did. But there are other variants to this championship. Uh, there was a dull version of this that I no longer have. Why, you may ask? Because I turned it into this. This is the BPW N7 World Championship. Named it the N7 because I just am a huge fan of Mass Effect and I thought it'd be cool to name my world title after it. Didn't really put much more thought into it than that. And CM Punk is still the damn champion. I wonder who's going to take it from him. And like I said, there is a variant to the spinner belt, and this one actually freaking spins. How cool is that? This is the rated R spinner belt. Just like the saturation of the gold is turned way up. Looks pretty damn cool. It is missing a lot of details. There's like absolutely no silver added to this thing, which the before spinner belt definitely has. So because of that, I got this one, which I believe this is the one from the ringside collectibles pack it's got the same tone of gold that this spinner belt has again this one does spin 
Yeah, if I remember right, this is the one from the Ringside Collectibles uh, Rated R Edge, and this is the one from the Ringside Belt Pack. So what I did is I went through, I repainted the spinner, put the black background, made the silver stand out, redid the red, so it really, really pops. And then I put all of the little details on the eagle. I added all of the silver bits on the plate here, on the champ part, on these little red parts. On the sides here, you can actually see there is a bit of green. But yeah, there's some green bits in there that I added, painted all those little silver bits, painted all the silver on the side strap, right here on the Mun Knight Raw. <laughs> so funny. Added the little red parts, all the silver bits. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with this belt. It, honestly, like seriously, I gotta say again, like the spinner belt does not get enough play. I think it just is an amazing title. Next up, one of my favorite championships. This is the NXT Championship. This is the first version. This has come with a number of superstars like the NXT series, uh, Seth Rollins, the Elite 40, Sami Zayn, uh, one of the Samoa Joe elites came with one. I love this title. It's one of my favorites of all time. There's just so much detailing with the strap and stuff like that. And I love the way the side plates look. The big NXT logo is just awesome. The only thing that kind of blows about it is that there's so much detail that's not put into this thing that I went ahead da, 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 and made my own version. So I added the silver and black trim to the, to the main plate. I added the black on the WWE logos on all six side plates. And I added the little gold bits to the strap. And I think this just looks way better. It pops more. There's just so much detail. Very happy with it. But again, I have so many of these. I'm just overall happy with the base championship. This is a badass belt. This came with the Hall of Fame series Farouk, a.k.a. Ron Simmons. Well, it's Ron Simmons because he was in WCW at the time. This is the WCW Heavyweight Championship, World Heavyweight Championship. This is the belt they made after Ric Flair basically said, well, screw you guys, I'm not going to do what you want me to do in WCW anymore, and took off for the WWF. And he went with the big gold belt, so they had to make this thing in a hurry. It's a very small title. It's actually something I kind of like about it is that how small it is. And there's so much detailing on it. There's a version of it. And I think um, the actual version of it, the backdrop on it is silver. But this one's all gold. It's got some blue uh, parts in the, in the globes and obviously the black uh, highlights. Awesome belt. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Then we've got the Million Dollar Championship. This came with the entrance greats, Ted DiBiase, and the Hall of Fame, Ted DiBiase. I think one or two other figures come with this, or maybe that's it. I don't honestly know off the top of my head. It would be kind of cool to see them make an updated version of this with a shinier, more reflective uh, gold and silver. If they decide to do that, if they never do that, that's okay. This is still a badass championship. As you guys know... I love the tag belts, and NXT has some of the most gorgeous tag belts ever made, including NXT UK. I so hope we get those in figure form one day. Until then, let's look at these classic NXT Tag Team Championships. Love the way the center plates look with, um, you know, just kind of like the yin-yang design where you got gold and black on one side, and then the other belt has gold and black. Love the way the NXT logo looks. Love the side plates, too. And I love the fact that at the end of the strap, they kind of molded in the little buckle parts. It's very cool. It is sad that we never got a shiny version of these championships. Uh, just for some reason, it did not happen. But that's okay. Because with the Authors of Pain, you get these. These are the updated NXT Tag Team Championships. Right now, this is these are probably my favorite belts in wrestling. I love these so much. I don't know what it is about the background. The way that looks is just so awesome. I love the way the NXT logo looks, how it keeps basically the same design as this one, but this is just like the level 100 version of it. You know what I mean? 
the shininess of the plates. I love the silver highlights. The NXT logo, like I said, just knocks it out of the park. Just gorgeous belts. Absolutely love them. I hope they never get replaced. Sticking to Tag Team Championships. Another one of my favorites. These are the World Tag Team Championships from the Attitude Era, debuting on Monday Night Raw in 2002. Love these. They're so cool. I love the fact that um, these were kind of designed to look a lot like the Undisputed Championship, the shaping of the plates and the amount of side plates that they have. So cool. I love the red globe. It just screams Monday Night Raw. Can't say anything else more about these that I haven't already said in previous videos. I just love these titles. They were so close to being my favorite tag team championships of all time. I mean, hard to replace the classic classics and the NXT championships. This belt is unfortunately a disappointment to me. This came with the Elite 34 page. This is the first NXT Women's Championship. I was so excited for this title. I, it's just so hard to make out the graphic that says WWE Women's NX, or WWE Women's Champion, as it says here. So you got the WWE logo right there, and then it says NXT right there. Uh, it's just, yeah, it just does not work. I mean, they just threw in some, like, random, like, I don't even want to say it's red, but it's almost like a salmon color. It's just so ugly. Like, the, the jewel pieces are kind of like a, a pinkish purple and the plate, the plates are just too big. And you'll see that compared to like the normal women's championship. Like I'm not gonna lie, like the, the NXT women's championship should be somewhere around the same size as this. Maybe just a little bit bigger, but still, you know, it is a unique belt. I'm glad I owned it. We were supposed to get a basic of this with a Billy Kay in the NXT series, but her figure got canceled and the belt got canceled. So that sucks. Sticking with the Women's Championship, this is the Women's Championship from the Attitude Era and into the Ruthless Aggression Era. I love the fact that you can see that, like a bunch of WWE logos on the strap. Always dug this. This is one of my favorite championships of all time. I just love the oval design on the plates. I love how it's got this cool like scratching, clawing effect going around the border of the championship plate. Awesome belt. Which was replaced, controversially, with this. This is the WWE Divas Championship. You got two versions of it. I have a dull version, and I have a shiny version. This one came with Paige. The shiny version, I think, is a little bit better. It's just, I just, for some reason, really love the reflectiveness of the plates. The pink is a little hard to make out on the side plates, but you can clearly make out the WWE logo. And controversial to say, I don't mind the butterfly design of it so much, but I know some people really hate it. The dull version is just as good in my opinion. You can make out way more of the details on the center plate and on the side plates. There's a, a larger version of this that came with the Elite 17 Kelly Kelly that I just do not have. So this is the redesigned WWE Championship that was unveiled by The Rock after he retired the spinner belt. I prefer this one so much more than, than this one here. So this is the current design. The things I like about it, I love that there's just a little bit more color variation to the center plate. I think the Scratch logo just, it's just classic. I mean, it's a bit of a mess with all the jewel pieces, but it's just so freaking awesome. And you can actually see the word champion on it. It's got a bigger plate for that. Whereas this one, it's its just so small. The, the figure belts can't make it out. The side plates, there's not really that much of a difference to it. I mean, there's kind of a crest on top of the, of the plate right there. And there's a bit more color to it. I mean, you got some silver thrown in there, and this one doesn't have any of that. So again, I do prefer the 2013 version of it over the updated 2014 that we currently have. And there is a variant to this. There's two versions of this variant. This is the uh, Chase the Belt that came with a bunch of basic series figures. It's a gold strap. It's got some color to the side plates. 
and it's just one piece. You know, there's no actual removable plates like how these ones have. It's just all one piece. It fits the wrestlers a lot more snug than a lot of these other belts. So that's kind of a neat idea that they attempted here. There is a version of this that is, uh, it's got a black strap to it. Came with the uh, Toys R Us exclusive uh, Money in the Bank cash in Seth Rollins. Getting into the land of extreme now, we've got the ECW Championship. This has come with a number of different figures like Terry Funk, CM Punk, Bobby Lashley, or Booby Looby as the artist was calling him. I love this title. I love the scratched up looking kind of burnt out leather of the strap. The center plate, there's just so much detailing in there. It's kind of hard to make out. There's like a barbed wire scratch logo for ECW. There's what looks to be like weapons or a cage. It looks more like a cage and weapons to me on the backdrop of the plate. The world champion uh, banners are kind of, you know, scratched up almost horror movie looking ish. The heavyweight wrestling part is just, you know, blood splatter. So freaking awesome. The side plates kind of have a classic look to it, if I remember correctly, or, you know, it's it's kind of hard to make out. I'll have to look at an actual version of this. But yeah, I, I really, really dig this championship. There's just so much detailing to it. And it was replaced with this in the middle of WWE's ECW Revival. This came with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Matt Hardy. And this is very different it's got such a unique shape to the center plate i really like that though there's kind of like a phoenix in the background and there's like you know just a bunch of the like i don't know light rays or spears or whatever they're supposed to be called i it also vaguely resembles the intercontinental championship in in my opinion the side plates i think are just really cool looking um these almost look like wartime medals if i'm being honest like something from halo and I just really, really dig that. You know, you got the WWE logo, you got the ECW logo. It's very awesome. I think the last person that held this was Ezekiel Jackson. Should have been Christian, in my opinion. These are the SmackDown WWE Tag Team Championships. These were, of course, introduced in 2002 in an amazing tournament, which uh, Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit won. I love these titles. They basically retain the same design as these belts here just you know sort of reshaped a little bit more streamlined but it, you can just tell that they're trying to ape off of the classic look whereas the raw tag titles at the time were more reflective of the undisputed championship even though they were on different brands it's a very weird decision but still really really love these i love all of the blue on the side plates and the center plates that just looks so freaking awesome. I know these are probably my girlfriend's favorite tag titles because they got blue on them. But yeah. Um, so this, along with the, you know, the raw tag titles, the only way you could get these for the longest time was with the Elite Series 10, I think it was. The Elite Series 10 Big Show. He was the only one, and you'd have to buy two of them to get two belts. Thankfully, these were included in the Ringside Collectibles belt pack, so you just had to buy two belt packs to get them. So back over to the women's championships. Here we have the WWF women's championships. This is the one from the 80s. Uh, this is a newer belt. This came with the network spotlight, Wendy Richter. Thank you, Captain McKay, for helping me out with that. And this one came with the flashback series that was exclusive to Walmart, Alundra Blaze, that famously got dumped into a trash bin. Surprise Oscar the Grouch never found it. Bitch, I live in a fucking trash can! For such tiny belts, you can make out so much of the detail. I love the red background on the WWE logo. I love the size of the globe. The banners for women's champion, women's wrestling champion looks awesome. The side plates, not really much to them. And uniquely, they are the only belts that have like the one peg holes. So that's kind of cool. Cutting back over to women's championships again, or keeping with the women's championships. Here we have the Raw Women's Championship. I forget which figure this came with first. Was it Sasha Banks in that um, in that Walgreens exclusive? It might have been. Sadly, this is not to scale 
like I said with a previous women's title, it should be somewhere closer to this, just a little bit bigger, but it's the exact same scale as the men's championship. So it just fits very, you know, it's just a, it just fits very odd on the women's figures because they have slimmer waists. Well, maybe not Nia Jax, but you know, hey, no judgment. Chase loves his women thick. So this is the one for Raw. The one for SmackDown, to date, there's only one figure that comes with that, and that's the Walgreens exclusive Becky Lynch, and I just was not a big fan of the figure, and I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks just to get the belt. So, I had a second Raw Women's Championship that I got from the WrestleMania Heritage Elite Series Sasha Banks, and just before this video, I decided to paint the background blue. I didn't do the best job in the world because, again, I was kind of rushing it. And I decided to repaint the red scratch logo and make it a little bit darker. Or It's not really so much a scratch logo anymore. It's just kind of a swish underneath the WWE logo. So, yeah. Uh, the Ultimate Series Becky Lynch is going to come with both versions of the belt. So, either she's going to come with the Raw and the SmackDown Women's Championship. Sadly, those are not to scale either. I was really looking forward to Ultimate Editions having a, a, just like an updated version of the titles, and sadly they don't. Now, sticking with variants of this title belt, we have got the best redesign of this just literally ever. That is this. Oh, interesting. European style. This is the WWE UK Championship. Look at that center plate. Holy crap. This crest-like logo with like a lion and a stallion looks so freaking awesome. The crown looks great. The United Kingdom champion banner looks awesome. It's got a WWE crest in the middle, which has now been replaced with an NXT logo. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, the side plates look great. Like these little red uh, triangles that they added to it look very dope. I wonder if that's where its hidden weak spot is. Again, I just love this so much. Uh, the new Elite Pete Dunne and the um, ex online exclusive Tyler Bate figure, uh, they come with this. I have to say big shout out to Wrestling Hero Figs because I won a giveaway for that Tyler Bate, and that's how I got this bad boy. As soon as I get that Pete Dunne, though, I will have two of these, and maybe I will get another uh, white strap women's championship and swap out the plates and make it the NXT UK women's championship. Lastly, this is my least favorite variant of that WWE championship design. This is the universal championship. I don't absolutely hate it. I love the way the red background looks with the black swish underneath the WWE logo. That looks awesome. This strap, however, is just too bright. I just, I don't like it. There's just not enough uniqueness to this championship. I remember in 2016, during SummerSlam, when they unveiled this thing, the whole crowd just shat on it, and deservedly so. It's still just, no. Even like the blue variant, as much as I love the blue variant that's now on SmackDown, it just is like, come on. Couldn't make it unique. Speaking of unique and a bunch of different awesome variants, we have got the Winged Eagle WWF World Heavyweight Championship. I love this title. Absolutely just 100% classic. Technically, it's it should be small. It should be a lot smaller in scale. Like, it should be closer to the WCW Championship, which, of course, I can't find. Here it is. It should be, like, the, the center plate should be a lot smaller. It should be closer to this one in size because this one was, this belt, like, the center plate was a lot smaller than, like, the IC title or the tag titles. It was very odd, but that's just what they went with. Still, I, I actually do love this bigger version of it. It looks just so freaking awesome. The classic eagle in the background the unique like side uh you know side of the plate right here that would almost be like completely off of the plates when wrestlers would walk out to the ring with it it was very it's very odd how it wasn't completely attached almost and the side plates side plates are amazing it's got that classic WWE look to it where it looks like you know 
light or stars are flying by. It just is awesome. It's an awesome freaking title. This was the first version that came out with it, and then there were a number of different styles. So this one has a much more saturated gold, and it has a blue globe instead of a black one. The black one, I think, has... You can make out a lot more of the detail on it versus the blue. So I actually prefer this one now. This is the one that came with the Legend Series Ultimate Warrior. Top of my head, I don't know if there ever was a yellow strap world championship. He had a yellow strap intercontinental championship and we never got for some reason. I don't know the d decision of that. Of course, that figure should have came with a yellow strap IC title and, you know, you know, this one. But... Whatever, still, it's awesome. Now this one has a duller version of the gold, so it doesn't have quite the shininess of the other two, but I still really like it. You can make out a lot more of the detail with these duller plates. So this is the probably the newest one. This is the one that came with uh, the Hall of Fame or Hall of Champions. I think it was still called Hall of Fame series at the time. Uh, this is another one that came with the Ultimate Warrior. There's a basic version of that came with a battle pack with Sting. Love the way the white strap looks. Now, this is one of my favorite versions of the Winged Eagle Championship. This is the baby blue strap that came with the Hall of Fame Series 1 Ultimate Warrior. It's got the shiny version of the plate. So it's got a shiny version, kind of like this, but it's got the blue globe like this one. So it's like the best of both worlds. Love it. There's kind of more of a purplish strap version that came with the uh, flashback warrior that is Walmart exclusive. If I never get it, I'm going to have to make an updated version of it. It's not like I don't have plenty to go. Speaking of plenty, did you see the amount of big penny belts back there? Oh, we're going to get into that. <sighs> Starting off with probably the most prestigious belt in all of wrestling history. Legend has been spoke about this amazing, coveted, most desired thing. I mean, there's Scarlett Johansson, and then there's this. Ba bam This is a super dull version of the Penny Tag Team Championships. I forget who gave me this. Was it? I don't know if it was Captain McKay or if it was Wad Figs or if it was uh, if it was Dylan. But I got it from somebody, or maybe I got it in like a random lot. But um, a couple of basic figures come with this, and it's just so ugly looking. <laughs> this looks like this looks like a caramel candy. I mean, you can make out a lot of detail, a lot of details on the the center plate. But it just looks so awful. <laughs> the colors are just so bad. Let's get away from that. So here's the shiny version of the championships. And again, this is one of those where it's like I praise the way the dull belts look, but this is one where you absolutely need to have a shiny version of it. The thing that sucks about these titles is that I love the design. I love the Spartan helmets. You got the two warriors going into battle. I love, like, the detailing around the center plate. It looks so freaking awesome. I love the side plates. The Spartan helmet with the WWE logo. This is so awesome. The problem is, there's no freaking color variation. You can't make out the details on it on TV half the time. Like people say, it is like you are walking out there with a giant penny. Like, did Batman defeat Two-Face, take that giant penny, put it in the Batcave and said, you know what, I'm kind of over this, and then gave it to WWE, who melted it down and turned it into championship tag titles. It's just bizarre. There's a couple of variants. There's like a, a much more saturated version of the bronze. And then there's this, holy freaking crap. This came with the Elite Series 22 cane. This is so unique. Like, the bronze is so overly saturated. It's almost got, like, a blood red moon look to it. It's just super fitting for the big red machine. Uh, he and Daniel Bryan were teamed up at the time with a Team Hell No. So, usually, I, I pose these belts, and I've got two of them. I pose these with Kane and Daniel Bryan. I just... I 
so I, I think honestly, these are my favorite versions of the big penny belts that Mattel has released so far. They're just so wicked looking. And we have the modern day version of these titles, which I think are a vast improvement over the penny belts. We have got the nickel, we have got the quarter nickel and dime versions. Uh, so we've got the raw version, which again, they've got silver plates to them and a red strap. Great look to it. I love just how shiny it is. So shiny. <laughs> and we've got the SmackDown tag titles, which are my my favorite version of the current belts. You know, even though I love the blood red saturation of the Elite 22 cane, of the current version of these belts, this is my favorite. The blue strap and the silver plates. It's just got such a great look to it. Again, though, those center plates absolutely need to have some color so now once again one of my favorite belts of all time this is the attitude era winged eagle wwe championship unveiled by mr mcmahon and given to stone cold steve austin the night after wrestlemania 14 I love this title. Before, you could only get this with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin, but it's come with a number of different superstars, most currently being the Ultimate Edition Triple H. Just, I got, I love this title so much. I love the circular design, the square plates on the sides look so freaking awesome. Thankfully, there is a variant that came out with the Best of Attitude Era Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's unique about this is it comes with a blue strap, and it's a Slight different hue than the tag titles, just by a skosh. It's a little more saturated. But again, it's so freaking awesome. I love that, you know, Mattel is paying attention to those details. It's probably all thanks to Bill. Now, you can't talk about classic Attitude Era championships without bringing up this. This is the Smoking Skull Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin was so damn popular he got his own championship belt that was on tv you got the two rattlesnakes right there next to the smoking skull with the blood red wwe logo i love the snakeskin championship banner these side plates are so unique the one thing i want to do because i've got two of these or maybe i've got three no, i've got two um i want to paint the snakeskin on the back i've been trying to do that for years but I just haven't done it yet, but it's on my to-do list now. Um, I did have to go through and paint in the black because for some reason, sometimes with these Mattel belts, where it's supposed to be black on the championship banner, it just doesn't happen. So for this one, I went through and did that. I think it looks pretty dope. Another classic championship here, we have got the cruiserweight championship this is the wwe version we sadly do not have a wcw version even though it is on the hall of champions packaging bizarre the freaking czar number of superstars come with this like the elite 37 d malenko elite 32 Rey mysterio uh, i think the current Rey mysterio that elite 67 with the phantom attire he comes with this as well we do thankfully have a modern cruiserweight championship represented in WWE. So there's two versions of this title. There's this one here that comes with the uh, newest Buddy Murphy Elite, or in fact, the only Buddy Murphy Elite. I mean, he's got a variant, so there is actually two versions of it. But this is the first version that came out with TJP. Biggest difference is just uh, the red slash on the WWE logo. This one's purple, and this one's red. I prefer the purple one, if I'm being totally honest. I love this title. I love the strap. I go into much more detailing detail on it in my, you know, top 10 championship belts. It's just awesome. Can't say much more about it. I really do hope we get an updated version with the darker strap and with the NXT logo. That's going to be freaking awesome. Next up, we have another classic belt from the Attitude Era. These are the European Championships. It's two versions. There's this one that comes with the Scratch logo, and there's this one that does not, for no reason that I can think of. I prefer this one, obviously. Here we have the WWE United States Championship. First unveiled in 2003. 
This is the updated version with the modern Scratch logo on it. I got one of these and the Scratch logo was horribly, horribly mispainted so I went through and touched it up. And I've got another version of it here. I think this came with the one of the first Dolph Ziggler Elites. So the plate is a duller version, doesn't have the shininess to it, but again, I really like it because you can make out all the details. And I really like how they did the, the center plate. I love the more classic Scratch logo on this as well. Not only that, I've got a completely dull version that came with um, some of the basic figures. And the USA flag on the backdrop is molded. That is freaking awesome because if I, if yeah, these ones are not. These ones are just painted on. This one is molded. That is freaking dope. Speaking of US championships, got to talk about this bad boy. Another one that was on my top 10 video. I freaking love this, even though a lot of people do not. This is John Cena's Spinner United States Championship. I freaking love this belt so much. It actually does spin, although they they need to put something back here to make it easier to spin it. But yeah, this title does indeed spin. Now uh, it came with the Defining Moments John Cena and the Prototype John Cena. Love the way the USA logo looks. Love the Word Life John Cena. That's just so awesome. I love the side place. You got the USA with the star in the background. You got the got Old Glory right there. You know, yeah, Old Glory is the one with the circular 13 stars. So I, I just keep calling everything Old Glory. I love that fact that you've got this star pattern on the strap. That's so freaking awesome. Last but not least, here we have the BPW Canadian United States Championship. It's one of my first custom titles. And this is the one that Edge won in an Instagram exclusive battle royale. And he rechristened it the Canadian United States Championship because before it was just the United States Championship. And this belt was retired after Christian destroyed it because he and Edge are sore losers. And it was replaced with this. This is the BPW Console Wars Championship. And I just realized that it's upside down. Now, why was it upside down? It's because my center plate came off. It was held on by hot glue, as you can see here in the background, or in the back of the strap, but it's not holding anymore. It's it's held on for the last, like, almost four years, man. So right now, I just got some sticky tack. And voila. One day, I will update it. Man, that hot glue is actually still sticky. It's weird. It's got that residue that it left over. Uh, so yeah, this is now the mid-card championship of my federation, Burnout Inc. Pro Wrestling. Side plates here, not much to them. I just wanted to paint the BPW logo. Got these side plates that I customized out of an old spinner belt. And I made a... a <laughs> I can speak. I made a Nintendo cartridge and a Nintendo controller. And at the top of it, you've got a Nintendo-like console sitting on top of a TV. You've got the word Console Wars, and it's also written in Japanese below it. This was originally a TV title that was sold on Wrestling Superstore. But again, I customized it. And here you go. Still one of my favorite things I've ever made. Freaking love that. Time to talk Intercontinental. Hmm. Continental. No, just intercontinental. So it's continental then? No, just intercontinental. Stop it. I love being incontinent. Stop that. I love being incontinent. My goodness. Sadly, we do not have like the very first version of the IC title, but we do have this. Uh, this is the classic intercontinental championship from way back in the day. Uh, we don't have a version with a red logo that would have came with like Macho Man. Uh, this one came with the Defining Moments Razor Ramon. Sadly, he doesn't come with two of them. The Defining Moments Razor Ramon really should have been Razor from WrestleMania 10. Should have came with two IC titles and a ladder. I'm I'm so weirded out that they just made his generic pink attire, but what can you do? He does come with the IC title, so that is great. I love the way this looks. Um, so I think the Ricky Steamboat Flashback Series and the Legend Series Mr. Perfect come with this as well. 
Awesome freaking title. It's hard to make out the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship banner, though, because it's just all gold. Now, these are the sadly no longer current Intercontinental Championships. Uh, first redesigned by Cody Rhodes after the Attitude Era one, which we're going to talk about. I just wanted to point out that basically this was a modern version of that classic IC title. And there's a couple different versions of it. There's one here uh, that unfortunately has... I forgot who I got this with, but the strap is so oddly cut. It looks very... it's just terrible. It's terribly cut. I love the way the plates look, though. The gold is super saturated, and you can clearly make out Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. The side plates are cool with the WWE logo in the background, but I prefer this version. This one came with the Best of Pay-Per-View Series Money in the Bank Christian. Love the way the... I just really love the way the, the plate looks here, the shininess of it. It's not overly saturated. The black background... The, uh, the black uh, banner background, I should say. The only problem is, is that, you know, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Championship part, it's not molded onto the strap. So if it gets scratched off, it's gone. So that's the only advantage this one really has over it. So this is the oval redesign. I mean, the WWE Championship got a redesign. Why not the IC title? I really did love this one. It kind of wore out as welcome, but still, it's just so awesome looking. Sadly... It's just so hard to make out the Intercontinental Champion banner. It's just, you know, it's kind of hard to see with the reflectiveness of it. I love the side plates, though. Those look pretty damn awesome. Now, there is a dull version of this that I prefer because you can just kind of see everything way better. Mine, unfortunately, was scratched up a little bit, so I had to fix that as best as I could. And there is a dull version of it that's got everything molded onto it. I love this title. This is actually my favorite version of the IC title that Mattel has made of the Attitude Era one. Let's hope we, we see this at least one more time. So yeah, the current IC title we do not have. It was first unveiled last year by Sami Zayn, given to Shinsuke Nakamura. This is the big gold belt. This is the WWE version of it. So sadly, we don't have a WCW one. And we don't have that variant that has like the silver background to it. I do want to make one of those someday. It's just going to be very difficult. It's such a classic title. Love the shape of it. The big red jewel pieces. Yeah, it's such an awesome freaking belt. And thankfully, there is a number of different variants, including this one. This is the... NWO World Heavyweight Championship, mainly worn by Hollywood Hulk Hogan, but for some reason came with the Elite 16, Kevin Nash, probably just because Hogan was assigned to the company at the time and they really, really wanted to do that. That figure was just so hard to get a hold of. I never had this until it was released with the ringside belt pack. Speaking of ringside, they had another exclusive title. This is the NWO World Heavyweight Championship with the red this is uh, the one that Hollywood Hogan spray painted again after winning it. And Kevin Nash came with it for some reason because Hogan was signed to the company, but then had to leave. When I got the Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan, he did not come with the World Heavyweight Championship because it's owned by WWE. It's owned by WWE right now. So I made my own. And again, the belt pack was not available. And I think this one is just a little bit more accurate to the first spray paint job that they did. At least I tried my absolute best to replicate it. It's just kind of hard to make out in certain lighting situations. But on camera right now, it's looking pretty good. So these are the only Jax titles that I have I'm going to talk about now. This is a World Heavyweight Championship. I love the way this strap looks. I love the curvature to it and the detailing you can make out. I think the Mattel one is better though overall. I absolutely hate these straps. I've always hated them. They just, ugh, I don't like them. Uh, this is a Jax TNA Championship. Not bad looking. It's just really, really hard to make out any of the details on it. The only thing I can, I can kind of see is the TNA logo. So I might have to customize this and just make it look better and also put it on a different strap. Different strap. Strap, 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 strap. I can say strap. <laughs> So, 
here is a Jax UFC Heavyweight Championship. I took a big gold belt, took the plates off, and stuck this bad boy on there, and I think it looks pretty damn good. I usually pose this with a, a Brock Lesnar figure, but I will probably pose this with the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey whenever I get her. And again, I just hot glued the plate on, and it has thankfully held. And yeah, the big old belt, it matches up pretty well, but someday I might put its own, you know, custom leather strap to it. Here we have Zack Ryder's Internet Championship. I think it's only been on TV once, maybe twice. It's been in the WWE video games, and thankfully it came with his Elite 17 figure. Love this title. I love the uniqueness of it. The big spiked hair was just, it's so goofy, but I dig it. You can almost kind of customize this. I, I wonder if I ever got a second of this, I would customize it, make it like, make the, the spike hair look like a, like Super Saiyan hair. Call it the Super Saiyan Championship or something stupid. Uh, now this didn't have any logos included on it because they're trademarked by the companies. But I wanted to match them up as best I could to their 2011 counterparts. So we've got Zack Ryder's logo right there. We've got the YouTube logo. We've got Twitter and Facebook. Not on Facebook. I hate you, Facebook. Sticking to custom championships. We have got the WCW United States Championship. This was made by Mr. J Vega on Instagram. Link down below. Love this title. The gold looks so good. I love the design. Just perfectly captures the United States Championship. I cannot believe Mattel hasn't made this yet. Side plate looks great. I love that you added the studs for the buckles and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of the strap on the back with like this fuzzy type material. I, I think maybe it was, I don't know if it's just what you have available, but I would maybe try a different material. But I do love it. I mean, I love how flexible the strap is too. And I'm pretty certain it's going to fit just about every wrestler I have that's ever worn this. I'm probably going to display it with Goldberg or maybe DDP. I freaking love that belt. Speaking of custom belts that I love... I've got these two here from the Mad Reaper. Starting with this one, in late 2018, he announced he was making an IWGP Heavyweight Championship belt. This is the first version of it. He's made an updated version that's got some jewel pieces in it, and it's got some buckles and stuff, or it's some studs or whatever those are called. I still really love this version. I usually put this on my AJ Styles. And look at that. On the back, it actually says Mad Reaper Studios. That's so freaking awesome. Now, he and, I are, he and I are pretty good friends on Instagram. We talk a lot, and he sent me this one for free out of the kindness of his heart because I got the first version of this championship. And, dude, that was so wonderful of him to do. This is the AEW World Championship. Now, at the time, there were no AEW figures, but now we know that we are getting AEW figures and we are getting an AEW championship. And I just can't believe the amount of detail he got on this and that he got on the IWGP belt. I sadly don't have the IWG Intercontinental belt that he made one day. Who knows? Uh, sadly, it doesn't say Mad Reaper Studio on the back, but that's okay. Again, I can't thank him enough for giving me this. This was so awesome. And I just love the AEW Championship. It's so freaking cool. It took a while for me to get used to it, but man, I love it. I love all of AEW's championships. They need more. This is the WWF slash WWE World Heavyweight Championship. This came with the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan, and I'm pretty certain he's the only wrestler to ever, help, ever hold this. They made this for him after he defeated the Iron Sheik. And I'm pretty certain when they redesigned it to the Winged Eagle Championship, that's when he lost it to Andre the Giant, who then sold it to the Million Dollar Man. I'm not 100% certain on that, so I will confirm everything and, you know, put links and stuff like that here, but I'm pretty certain that's the history of this title. It's got an extra large strap on it because Hogan sadly did not have a cloth shirt. He had a rubber shirt, so they had to give him a longer strap to fit around his body. Still, this is such an awesome, badass belt. I kind of wish they would make that that green strap championship that he first won. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. It's absolute one of my favorite belts right now. This is the 
new NXT North American Championship. I love this title so freaking much. It's such a classic throwback to like NWA championships and stuff like that. This gigantic strap. It reminds me a lot too of the first NXT championship with how big the strap is. Love this center plate. It's so minimalist. I love the way the, the globe looks just showing North America. That is freaking awesome. The NXT logo on the side plate looks great. I love the detailing on here too. The color variations. It just looks awesome. And they painted the buckle straps. That is awesome. And look at the detailing too. Like all the line work and stuff like that in there. It's just so awesome. Like the NXT championships really, really get done well by Mattel. The exception being the NXT women's championships I've noticed. Speaking of badass titles from NXT, this is the current NXT championship. First came with the Bobby Roode figure and Crap, did, has this come out with anyone else? I'm pr Oh, Andrade. Andrade's had it too. And there's, I'm pretty certain there's at least someone else that's had this, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's a freaking good-looking belt. I mean, I still do prefer the original NXT Championship, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, but I love the way it looks compared to this one, compared to the tag titles. I mean, they have the same type of side plate on it, but still, tag belt just curb stomps this one in my opinion i like that they tried to stick with the classic you know nxt with the big x in the middle that was so cool sadly the mattel version of it is missing a lot of details like i was saying before there's a problem when it comes to them trying to do these plates and have a black background in it it's almost like the paint evaporates i don't know the best way to describe it so that's unfortunate however because your boy's got some skill. Not much, but a little skill. I was able to update another one of these titles and I included all of the details that I could. I added the silver highlights onto the plate. I added the black background on the champion banner and on the side plates. So again, I kind of had to do Mattel's work for them on this when I don't have to do that for the tag titles, which is just very odd. And again, I did want to bring up that NXT Women's Championship that the Elite 67 Shayna Baszler comes with. It should have a little banner right underneath the WWE logo that says Women's Championship, but it doesn't. I don't know if like the current updated version of the title is going to have that anymore, because from what I heard, they dropped the whole women's moniker from it, and it's just called the NXT Championship, which makes absolutely no sense, because there's already an NXT Championship. I don't care if you call it something different, but... Don't call it the exact same thing. That's just ridiculous. And her belt is supposed to have a big silver X to it. But the ones I've seen do not look good. And still, it's just this belt again, not in scale. Same as they've done with the women's championships. So, updated version. I happen to like a lot. It's sad that the Mattel release does not have that included. If you have seen my top 10 Mattel figure belts, which was a countdown on my favorite belts Mattel has made so far, you will have noticed that this belt is particularly high on the list. That is this, the Undisputed Championship. This came with the Legend Series Eddie Guerrero. This is my favorite version of the Undisputed title so far. I love how small and compact the center plate is. You just make out all of the details. It's not as shiny as the other versions. It's got that dull look to it, but I just absolutely love it. I just think it's such a great contrast of black and gold. The side plates, there's so many side plates. Freaking awesome. The crest looks amazing. I love the way the eagle looks. I love the way these like shooting stars look. It's just awesome. There's a shiny version of this that comes with the Elite 55 Undertaker. And I love this title too. I love having choices when it comes to my championship belts but more often than not i find myself going with the gold version or the dollar version of that i just i can't describe what it is it's just amazing now not to be dwarfed if this is the star destroyer this is the super star destroyer 
This came with the next big thing, Brock Lesnar. There was also a WrestleMania Heritage Series Brock Lesnar this came with. So we've got the shiny version of it. It's, again, like I said, just so many awesome details on it that you, it's just hard to make out because it's got that shininess to it, but they are there. And I love the gigantic size of it. It's so awesome. So there is one belt I absolutely forgot to mention, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was another belt I forgot to mention because I'm horrible at this kind of stuff. And that is this. This is the WWE Hardcore Championship. This came with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive cane, but was thankfully released in a belt pack. I do have that cane, I just never got the belt. This thing is freaking awesome. Basically, it is a smashed up Winged Eagle Championship. People have thought for a long time that this was remnants of the plate that uh, Mr. Perfect destroyed with a hammer. I, do, I think it was ruled out that it wasn't, but I absolutely just love what they did here. This was first given to mankind by Mr. McMahon, and then chaos ensued for the next number of years, Think most, mostly due to Crash Holly. Again, just look at this. The duct tape looks so freaking good. I love how the hardcore champion is spelled on here. I don't know if it's supposed to be missing the C on champion, but mine is. I just chalked it up as in, you know, it's just a crappy title, so it's missing it. Uh, thankfully, that Texas version of the title that JBL had, Mattel hasn't made that, but who knows, maybe one day they will. I th there was also a design of that where, like, Tommy Streamer strapped a license plate to it with barbed wire. <laughs> Not Pamela Anderson, but, oh my god. Could you imagine a hardcore title with Pamela Anderson on it? I must get to work on this custom immediately! Alright guys, that's going to do it for my updated belt collection video. Like I said, I just wanted to avoid the duplicates, so that's why we strung them up all here. I think this was actually longer than the last belt collection video because I took so much time describing the freaking belts. But you know what? There's one highlight of this that nobody will probably mention. Thank God I didn't go through the entire video grabbing the big penny belt and going, we've got another WWE World Tag Team. You know, because so many people had to tell me how much they hated that in the last video. So many people! <laughs> Thank you once again for checking out the video. I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule of making videos. It's been difficult. I've had an adjustment period with new software, old software not working anymore, having to uninstall, reinstall, and try new things out. But I'm actually having fun doing this, as frustrating as it's been. That's kind of the driving thing of making videos. As long as we're having fun, we're gonna keep doing it. Elephant in the room, there is some shit going down in the world. Be safe and be smart. It is an actual thing you need to be concerned about. I'm not going to preach to you, but just if you can, take care of yourselves and take care of someone else. I'll see you next time.